back out here in Tennessee again today. Such a beautiful place. The old fort, the old stone fort. This is that place where um, can't get this to. This is that place that um, went the other day with this 2,000 year old temple. Well, I came back because I wanted to look at a few more things and maybe scout for some mushrooms. Such a beautiful place. I just like coming here. But we're gonna go this way instead. Last time I went that way to start with. It's really pretty down there. These are what remains of the walls of this ancient temple. But I didn't get to go down that trail last time as far as I wanted to. So I'm going to go down there this time to see what's down there. Some beautiful falls on that side too. These trees are magnificent. Just really wanted to get out and uh, couldn't think of anywhere else to go at the moment. And I thought there might be some mushrooms out here. It's been raining. It's kind of trickling and raining today. Oh, there's a deer out there right now. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Look at that deer. Just grazing away, like it's a pet or something. <laughs> See how close we can get before it takes off? Didn't bring the dogs today because Bonnie's about ready to have pups. So she's in no condition to be walking and plus they don't allow dogs out here off of a leash. sneak up on her while she's unaware so I can get a better picture.
Hi, buddy. Are you tame? She sees me. I didn't know she saw me, but it's like that deer is tame. Hi, buddy. Huh. What are you doing? Some nice food there for you, huh? Yeah. Are you a baby? Where's your mama? You just a baby? Okay. Well, happy trails. Love ya. <laughs> no fear in that, that animal. Probably the people here feed that deer. Crazy. I didn't know if she saw me or um, she just tame. I think she's just kind of tame or just doesn't really pay any much attention. She's getting some leaves off the trees now for some food there. Wow, that's so nice. You got to see that deer. Pretty little purple flowers. Nature is so beautiful. Like sometimes we can be right in the middle of nature and not even notice how beautiful it is. To this day, I really don't know where I like it the best, you know. I can't tell you what my favorite tree is or, I mean, I have some favorites, but <laughs> it depends. Like, I love these pine trees like this, you know, but where I, when I live someplace where all the trees are pine and stuff, I don't like them as much. And I, I miss the, the leaf trees and stuff. So I kind of like it here as a mix of both. A mix of both. I was just hearing on the radio, and I kind of interesting that I found something to listen to because I won't listen to music, but anymore. But they were just some people talking or something. They were saying this guy was saying his dad used to here in Tennessee is the one that. Wow! Look at this. I love it back here. Used to. I guess some years, I don't know, 50 years ago, the deer population here was almost, you know, down to nothing. And he reintroduced them to the area. And now there's thousands of them all over Tennessee. Okay, well, we could go down there. Or we could go that way. Let's go this way. And we'll go the other way. And go that way. Oh, man. I just about fell. This is slicker and snot. Whew. I'm telling you. Oh. Somebody down there in the river with their dog.
got to be one of the prettiest little creek rivers I've ever seen. I could probably get across here, but I'd get wet. I'd like to get across. Come back here in a second, because I'm I'm wanting to get across that river. There's a what? Remember, there was a cave over there last time that I wanted to get to. Hey, look at that pig snout. Pig lost the snout there. Huh, it's kind of deeper right over there if I do try to walk across that. I could slip and fall. There is some rapids there, and then I'd get up on that rock, and how would I get back over there? So I'll try it that way, go across a little bit. Either way, it looks like I'm gonna get wet.
Is that that cave? Looks like it. I'm going to try and get over there. I'm sure other people have investigated that by now. Yeah, I'd have to get pretty wet going over there. like a Hobbit movie here. get wet if I run out there. I will if I can't find a better way to walk across here.
I don't think it's anything other than a, a rock overhanging like that over there. Wouldn't be too much to get over there, but I'd have to get wet. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just a hole. Elm tree. phone, you know? That's just moss. It's wet right there. I'll get wet. Huh. But it'd be neat to go over there. Alright. Rock is so slick. That's what, I have to be careful. I have rubber soles. They're very slick. I don't have leather soles. <laughs> Pretty sneaky. One splash and didn't hardly get me wet. Okay. Well worth the little hike down here. Just love Tennessee. <laughs> Favorite place. Now see again that is cement. This is cement. Fell from up there. This was there was there were temple walls even over here. something was constructed. Now, I never knew they had cement, but you know, why wouldn't they? They had bricks. They probably knew how to make cement. Oh, I feel good today. A lot of energy. I'm surprised they let the public come through here. You might fall. You need a railing. You know, they don't think about stuff like that because they know that that's ridiculous. 
but in town they have to have you know, wheelchairs <laughs> access and everything else and they close it down if it's not safe you know Big hole. Good swimming hole there. still pretty hot and humid but it is nice and rainy and cloudy so it's not as hot Something was rooting in there, huh? Tearing the crap out of it. Getting the termites or something. The green mushrooms. I'm always looking for arrowheads and stuff. You don't find too many out here. Got somebody behind me, so I have to. But he went down there.
straight off. Wish you guys could tell how big these trees were. The camera just makes the trees look smaller. I'm not seeing any mushrooms. I did see a big mushroom that had rotted into the earth or something. Big tree mushroom. There's a wall here. So they're saying this is a wall without saying it, you know. They said it, but people will think it's talking about a cliff, but it's actually a wall we're walking on, a temple wall. Kind of a, almost like a maple. These mushrooms, the Amanita, live near maples or birch and uh, other pines and firs. Do not walk on the walls, okay? See, there's the wall. Long back wall. Stretching for 2,000 feet. Huh. What is that noise? Oh, it's not in those people. down there. A moat. Okay, let's check out the moat.
bunch of mushrooms down here. It's about every dead log. So I don't think those would be good for food. I don't know. I do see some here that might be. Yeah, that's a jelly ear. We call them Jew ears because they look like little ears. Um, Chinese ears or something. They're different names. And those are edible. They're very good. Chinese use them in their dishes. Oh my. Look at that. Wow. Again, I did not bring... I have got to start remembering to bring... Um, something to take my mushrooms back with me. I don't have anything to hold it. These are very jelly-like. You know, that's why I can't, it's hard to hold or put in your pocket or anything. Oh, well, these are very edible, very good, healthy. And these, uh, they've done studies on these Jew ear, uh, jelly ear things. And they also cure cancer. They get rid of your tumor cells, your tumor cells, they say. They help in heart disease and stuff. These things are really, really awesome. Most all, the, I think most of the mushrooms are just medicine, you know. We should put them in our soup every time we make a bowl. I like frying them up. I eat them a lot. Fry them up in my eggs and stuff. Oh, this is beautiful. Trying to hold my mushroom. This is a moat? I guess so, because there's a road goes across here. But, uh, yeah, nice little place to go waiting. Maybe it's down here, the moat. You know, it'd be a great place to have a little get-together. You know, it's been so long since I've had a get-together with family or friends. I think the last time was probably when I seen my mother alive. And all my brothers and everybody was there. My sister. I think my dad was even there. It was 30-some years ago. And I've literally been... without, you know, any kind of, haven't had any of that kind of contact since then. Wow. It is sad, but uh, it is what it is. It is what it is, as they say, whatever that means. I guess it just means nothing. Well, that might be kind of slick walking down through there. But boy, is it pretty. The moss everywhere. Wonder if this moss is edible. <laughs> you know, a person would never go hungry if he just wanted to actually eat. And it's the funniest thing in the world, but I'll bet you nine out of 10 people, you put them out here in the wild and they die of hunger within two months. And they'd probably live for 30 days before they died and they might find a I think the average person would be smart enough to go find a berry or something they might hang on for a couple months and they just they just die because they're like yeah there's nothing to eat out here when in actuality there's more food there's actual food out here to eat and there's no food in the grocery market there's nothing there and they boy they can find what they're looking for there Oh, pasta, pizza. 
candy, soda. Oh, you know, you can make a healthy pizza, kind of. I guess it's healthy and you know, not terribly unhealthy anyway. You heard of the cauliflower pizza dough? You, make, you just chop the cauliflower up into real small pieces, you know, kind of put it in the blender and mix a couple eggs with it. Make a, probably put some spices in it and make a dough and you bake it first before you put your tomato sauce and stuff on it. Oh, is this, you know, this is it. Oh, look at that tree. Got a hinge on it. It's a door to nowhere, huh? Hi. Hi. Pretty down there. Oops. all over that. Look at that. It's one of those birch polypores or white polypore. Good medicinal, medicinal mushroom. Very good. Cures everything. We found out yes a couple two days ago when we were looking. There's a lot of those around here. This is the wall that you're not supposed to walk on, but everybody is. They should reconstruct this. I guess they wouldn't know what it was originally looked like. No pictures of this 2,000 years ago. Hmm. Before Christ. so close to such beauty. You know, Idaho had a lot of trees, big trees, huge, huge, years ago, but they logged that area. They, they clear-cutted all the trees, literally just wiped out all the, the old growth forest everywhere up there. There's only a few places left that have the old trees standing. Huge, huge trees. It's 
So don't think, and, and, there, and you think, you know, with all that Canada, there's so many thousands and thousands of square acres, millions. You'd think that there'd be so much old growth there, but they've cut most of that too. The world's very hungry for material to build with. I think that's probably one of the reasons why they're deciding you can't go on this way, just robbing and pillaging the planet, so we'll just kill everybody and then start over again. You know, because there's no more trees left. Just a few of them in these parks. This is the wall. I wonder if Winnie the Pooh was here when they built this wall 2,000 years ago. Yes, I'm going to have me some uh, Jew ear, jelly ear soup. <clears throat> or maybe I'll just cut it up in my eggs. It's supposed to take on the flavor of whatever you put in it with it. These deer are smart. I mean, this isn't that big of a park, you know. But they know that, the, I guess, they don't feel in danger here from hunters. But if they were to walk off of this area, they'd get shot. But they know when they're on this property that, that nobody shoots at them, I guess. And then they come and they become tame. See, that's what happens. If we stop killing the animals, all the animals would start becoming tame. They would no longer be carnivorous, especially if we fed them, you know, and helped them. Just like we, we like to be gardeners, we like to be farmers. That is so pretty. Wow. I mean, you guys cannot see how huge these trees are. It's just, you know, it's... Okay, so like, where's the edge, right? So there's the edge of the tree in real life. And then we go across, and there's the other edge. I mean, it's like, oh, I'd say it would take two people, two grown men holding hands to get their arms around that tree. And that one's even a little bigger. Oh, there's much bigger ones in, in this area. At the base, that one's like huge too. Like this one too. I just love it out here. I just was hoping against hope that maybe there'd be a Amanita out here or some Ciliocebin is what I'd really like to find right now. I've got Amanita. I'll tell you the story, guys, <clears throat> on that one. I woke up this morning after taking a dose of that. I've been doing it. I've taken several doses of it. It does, it's different for everybody. It, it, carry, it, it works according to your needs, you know. If you have physical, bodily, physical problems, it will work on those problems and heal you. And, uh, if your problems are mo mostly psychic, it will work on those problems. I mean, everybody has both of those kinds of things, but if you have some psychological problems from your youth or something, or in a past life, it will take you to those places and confront, you'll confront those things and, and stuff. Um, some polypore, very healthy. But, um, I was asking for healing in my physical body and uh, I partook of it a couple of few days ago I took a big dose and was asking for healing and <clears throat> slept 
for an entire day. I didn't, I lost a day. <laughs> just, you know, if I'd have taken more, I guess you'd, you'd stay asleep for a while, but I slept for about 20 hours and didn't want to get up, but I finally woke up and realized it was, I thought it was morning, but it was actually the next morning or something. <laughs> it was crazy. And uh, I had a dream, a lucid dream that was just absolutely out of this world that showed me so much, which I will tell you guys, all of you guys, that dream that I had, so significant and so amazing. I saw some angels and Um, yeah, I saw, <laughs> I think I saw Mother Mary and, uh, it was really, really weird. Um, uh, I don't know if I want to talk about it today. I don't have, in this setting, I want to tell you guys the whole story, but basically there was a, um, channel for the living waters that come down from the divine being that was flowing just brilliantly into my life um, and right in front of my I lived in some they showed me the condition of my physical tabernacle it was white which they told me meant it was pure but it was very poor I had nothing of any value there. It was just um, a very meager place, this little place I was living, this life I'm living in, you know. But the door was completely open and anybody could come in and out, which that was all right because there was angels at the door. I didn't need protection, but I was very, very filled. I was this hole at the front of my of the entrance to my life, it was this huge, like, deep well, and the water was coming down the hill from the divine radiance and flowing into this deep well, and I was just full. But <clears throat> then it, that's it, it didn't go down. I had some, there was, down the hill, there was an enterprise, some things going on. I didn't really understand what was going on, and Mary said to me, uh, you're in charge. And I said, I'm in charge? She says, yeah, this is your enterprise. And you're in charge. And I'm like, I didn't know I was in charge. She said, well, look at the river. And when I turned back, the angels had opened it up so that it flowed, not just from down the hill into the well, but it, they had made a little channel where it could flow down into the lower regions into my body it I wasn't getting the life resources into my physical body and the enterprise that I had here in this conscious world was I was even I didn't even know I was in charge of this physical world that I could you know be well and happy here <laughs> so I looked back and the angels had opened that up and then I woke up in the morning and I felt completely healed of some various things and, and I believe that things are still happening in my body as we speak that is literally going to change my life. That, that, that mushroom is amazing and, and a lot of people take it and they don't like it because what it is is a healing mushroom. It heals your body and soul. And Um, that's not always pleasant to be healed. You know, sometimes you have to face your demons and stuff. And, and so, yeah, it's, it's not, it really isn't a pleasant thing, but what it does for you is <laughs> totally amazing.
How you doing? People are such good souls. Everybody. Everybody I meet. I don't meet bad people. I've met poor people. I've met angry people. Justifiably so. Hurt. Wounded. Uh, frightened. But I've never met a bad person. I don't think I have. Not to my knowledge. Of course, I haven't met Bill Gates yet, but <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going the wrong way here. I didn't want to get... <clears throat> Let's go over here to this other trail. your trail you can see the water below such a pleasant walk today I knew it would be a good day because it was kind of cloudy and it was raining <clears throat> it hasn't even rained since I've been here but definitely cloudy I change hands every once in a while Hold the mushroom with the other hand. But, yeah, I feel like a new person. And then last night, I just, oh, I went through that experience that people talk about where it's like a repetitive loop. I laid down and I felt like it was in hell. And that's why people don't like this mushroom. It will send you to a place sometimes, especially if you have troubles I think is what I'm believing. If there's some anything you need to overcome or whatever, it, it takes you right there. Especially, I think if you're willing, and I am, that's what I want to do: is be healed, body and soul. And I went into this place for a while that I, I literally thought I was gonna never get out of there. I felt like I was in hell, you know. And there were these numbers or something, just repeating themselves over and over and over and over again and I, I didn't think I'd be able to get out of it it's like my mind was trapped and I couldn't I think that they were showing me some of the repetitious stuff that was in my head I do a lot of thinking and a lot of stuff that's not necessary with numbers and you know like we don't need to know calculus and stuff we don't need to know all this stuff we torture ourselves with trying to understand some of these things and oh look at this water it's just so green and beautiful huh. little cave down there Like you're barefoot down there climbing those rocks. That would be kind of a. My feet couldn't do that. <laughs> my feet couldn't do that. So beautiful down there. But we saw that. 
yesterday. These roots, it's so weird. Well, they're in the water. I wonder if that's legal. Wow. So beautiful. Oh, pulled my shoe off. <laughs> These roots. <sighs> well, we'll take a look at the stone fort one little last time and then we'll head back to the truck. What a beautiful day. Well, this humidity just takes you out of you. Makes you just sluggish. The heat. Above wall, below wall. No, I don't want to go below the wall. Let's go above the wall. Mushy room, mushy room. Bunches of them. And a little, little white one. And what those are. Baby ones, I guess. <clears throat> Probably all over the place. Can't see them. Camouflage, so the people don't, they're like, Camouflage, nature camouflages them so that they can't be found and eaten. Unless you know what you're looking for, I guess. A lot of little mushrooms, but those aren't much edible types or anything. Marismas. Marismas or something, what they call those. They're edible, I guess, but not much left. There's not much on there. Look at that. Charcoal? What is that? It's like a charcoal. Like a snake. Ah. Yeah, a lot of these mushrooms, you can't see them unless you get down there and look. They, uh, they're under the leaves, some of them. So they pop their little heads up. Like here's one. Is that a mushroom? Yeah, it just pops up. No, that's not a mushroom. <laughs> Fool me. 
And it's talking about popping their heads up. This is a 2,000 year old temple. Wow. Don't disturb the stones. And it was very well built. These old artesians. Blue Hole Falls. This is the same there as Simas. They're all over right now. Beautiful little things. They grow up and they get brown when they get a little bit bigger. Tell you what, I bought this phone brand new. It's the best they make at the time I bought it, and it's not been very good. I mean, it's hard to zoom in the lens, and it's just, I mean, you know. There he is. He went behind that tree. Where'd he go? There he is. Huh. He stays behind the tree. There he went. 
one, guy. I just want a picture. I just want your photo. He stays behind the editor. Well, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off, guys. If I see anything else, I'll let you know.